All right, you guys, today we check out how to make inconsistent pattern here in Blender. This was inspired from a Nicholas. Go check out his page. He got some really good Blender and After Effects tutorials. All right, so we're going to start with a plane. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, select the plane. And I'm going to go here and switch it to Geometry Node Editor. Press on New. And I'm going to delete the group. And we're going to set up a couple of nodes. Press Shift plus A, search for Grid. Edit here, press Shift plus D to duplicate, search for instance on point, edit here, press Shift plus D to duplicate, search for set material, place it here, and isosphere, place it here. So now we're going to connect the mesh to point, the other mesh to instance, instance to point, instance to geometry, mesh to geometry, and geometry to instance. Let's go to the first grid size. This is going to be 10, other one 0, the rest 10. Let's go to the second grid 10 and 10. So it's going to look something like this. And let's go to the isosphere. We're going to increase the subdivision. So it's going to make the sphere around it. I'm going to go with 4. And let's go and decrease the radius. And this is going to be on 0 0.45. Now, but at least we're going to go here to the rotate Y. And if you increase it, you can see it is going to form this cube. So make sure to put it on 90 degree angles. Press Shift plus A, select a camera, activate the camera mode. And I'm also going to go and set up the size of the resolution. We're going to go with 1080 by 1080. And here at the camera, make sure to lock it. So I'm going to go and zoom out all the way. Let's go to the object. Let's set the location to 35 on all and here at the z if you rotate you can search for the cube so it's right here and i'm gonna bring it here and let's go to the camera settings let's go to type switch it to orthographic and let's go here to the orthopedic scale so i'm gonna increase it and it's gonna zoom out and i'm gonna arrange it press and hold shift and the scroll wheel so now we can go back to the object Right, so from here, I'm going to need to zoom in here all the way and we're going to need to align all these circles on top of each other. So we're going to go here to the rotation X and here you can uh, rotate it approximately. For example, this number is pretty good. Let's go to the Z and here I'm going to go with 224, let's say 85, maybe 95, 94. So you need to pixel peep it a little bit. So in my situation, this is the value. And now you can see the circles are aligned perfectly on top of each other. And I'm going to press and hold shift, press and hold the scroll wheel, arrange it. And let's go back to the camera here and make sure to unlock it back. So now I can zoom out and split this viewport in half. Let's go here and change it to shader editor. Click on new. So now we got here the material 001 and we're going to go here to the geometry node add the set material and change up the material to material 001. Let's go to principle, delete, press shift plus A, search for emission, pair it, press control T. This is going to work if you have the node wrangler activated. If you don't have it, you can go to edit, preference. Let's go to add-ons, search for node wrangler. Make sure to activate it. And now you got the shortcut. Here we're going to go to the image texture, delete it, press shift plus A, search for color ramp connect it and change up the UV to object and the mapping change it to texture let's go to color ramp and let's go and select the constant I'm also going to go and set up the renderer let's go and activate the render here I'm also going to set up the background to black let's go to background change the color to black let's go to render change up the EV to cycles CPU to GPU max sampling to 50 so now I can go back to the color ramp, select the white. And if I bring this guy in, you can see it is going to split the sphere half. So now it's like half white, half black. So we're going to go here and add 0 0.001. And this is going to be the half of it. Now we're going to need to rotate these guys and we're going to animate that. So we're going to go back to the geometry nodes and first search for noise texture. Then we're going to add a color ramp, search for a rotate Euler. And then we're going to search for a math and then align Euler to vector, separate X, Y, Z and combine X, Y, Z. So let's go and connect these. We're going to go with color to vector. Here we're going to connect color to rotate by, then rotate to value, then value to rotate, rotate to vector. And here we're going to connect the X to X, Y to Y and Z to Z. And then I'm going to select all these bring it all the way back and then we're going to connect here the vector 
to the rotation because mostly we're going to work on rotation. So let's go here to the noise. We're going to change the 3D to 4D. And we're going to go here to the scale, type in 0 0.02, a detail on 0. And we're going to decrease this to 0. And we're going to set it to multiply. So this is going to randomize it and we're going to set up the value to 20. And now if you go back to the noise, you can increase this value and check this out. It is going to animate. I'm going to go back to zero and here we got the color ramp and you can change the animation process quite a bit. All right, so I'm going to go right here and I'm going to start at 0.05. I'm also going to split this in half and I'm going to change this to timeline. Let's go here to the start, type in zero and 150. Let's go here, type in I, and I'm gonna go to the 150th frame. And then we're gonna go here, select the black and bring it back all the way to zero and press I. So it's gonna add the new keyframe here. So again, bring it back and it's animating. And then I also gonna select the white here, select the sandal, press the letter I, and I'm gonna bring it here. And I'm going to bring the white handle all the way here, for example, and go here, press the letter I. So it's going to add the keyframe. So now I got a pretty interesting animation going on. So for example, this is how you can animate the color ramp. If you don't animate the color ramp, you also can animate the W. But right now we got it this way. So pretty much that's how I make this pretty cool pattern animation here in Blender. Thanks for watching.